beautiful human beings, welcome back to another episode of Three Shots and Three Stories, where Andrea takes three shots of alcohol and tells you stories about her life that I don't even know if I should be putting on the internet, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Today, we are going to be talking about the first time that I tried a tampon and how it just did not go well. I know, some of you are gonna be like, oh my God, is she really gonna say that? Yes, I am gonna share this story with you. Second is going to be the first time that I got my nose pierced and how it was just, it was just not a good time for me. It was a hot mess and I didn't even want to get it done. So that is another interesting story. And then third, we are going to be talking about my trip to Boston and the wonderful experience I had there. And we're just talking about Boston because today we are drinking out of the Boston shot glass. So I figured let's share some stories with you about Boston and let's just have some shots. So today we are going to be drinking <gasps> Terrabana tequila. The Rock, guys, come on, it's The Rock's tequila. And I just, I feel like when I drink this, I could just taste him. God, I'm so sorry, Dwayne. But yeah, that's what we do. So before I start opening it, I was already gonna open it. Let's cue the intro. So before we get started with the drinks, I'm just letting you know, I normally say that I'm gonna bring water and I never do, but guess what I brought today? <gasps> Not water, <laughs> White Claw. It's just gonna be such a good combo. I literally was introduced to White Claw yesterday and I've already gone through four of them. And I know that in the first episode of Three Shots and Three Stories, I said I don't drink that much, but I guess I lied because I've been drinking like crazy the last couple of weeks. Let's get started. Like I said, we are going to be drinking Terramana. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I'm just gonna wait because I was about to start drinking. About to start drinking and the man decided to just vacuum his backyard. Almost finished my white claw because I was just waiting to take the shot. Anyway, anyway. Let's begin. So this is what the Boston Cup. Ooh, Lord help me, Jesus. Mm. Cheers. Oh, this is gonna be, I, I smelled it and I already got goosebumps. Mm. Smooth. It was smooth. As usual, you know I get the goosebumps. It was smooth. It was good, it was good. I think this is the first shot I've ever done that you don't see me like automatically twitch. Like it took my system a couple of seconds. So rock, thank you. Yeah, it was good, it was good, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's get into the first story. Let's wash it down with some more liquor. <laughs> Okay, so here goes nothing. I'm just gonna share it with you guys. Guys, brace yourself because this is talking about women stuff and lady flows and periods and you guys just might wanna skip over to story number two. But this is how it went down. I must have been like 12 or 13 years old. I had gotten my period, whatever. And a couple of months had gone by and I was at a tennis summer camp and it was always like a girl group and we were all talking about our periods and oh my God, our periods, ha! <laughs> you know, girls, we do that, right? And then I guess like one month I was on my period and all these girls were talking about tampons and this and that and oh my god yeah they're so much easier than pads right and instead of me asking my mother instead of me asking my mother and just simply saying mom I've never tried a tampon would you mind buying me some I was an animal and just decided to take one of hers now when I tell you that this was the worst idea that I could have possibly had on the planet because obviously this woman birthed children her vagina was not like mine <gasps> Mom, I should not have said that. Oh, blah, 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 blah. let's rewind. I'm so sorry. I cannot believe. Did I just say that? <gasps> my mom's gonna be like, Andrea, are you talking about my vagina on the internet? Oh, I'm so sorry, mom. Yes, I am. Anyway, anyway, her vagina's wonderful. No, don't say that. Anyway, we're not gonna talk about anybody's vagina. We're just gonna say that she had children. I had not. Tampon sizes were different, okay? Oh, I'm so sorry, Jake Wallen. <laughs> Anyway, so I decided to take it upon myself to be a woman and just, you know, go ahead and try her tampon. So I took it and I had gone to the summer camp and everybody's like, yeah, ha, ha, I have my tampon. So I tried it at a summer camp when we were going to like the pool or something and I was like, I got this. So I went to the stall and I remember perfectly, like, you know, you try it on your tampon, you gotta slip the thing in. 
I was there, I must have been there for like a good four to five minutes. Like I did not know what I was doing. I did not know where, what went where. Obviously it's only one direction, I know, but I was young. I had not looked at the intro video. I didn't even read the pamphlet. I was just like, it just goes in. Does it go in with the plastic? Do you pull, do you, what do you do, right? So I'm in there like, and my girlfriends are like, haha, girl, do you have practice? Have you done this before? And I'm like, of course, of course, you know, I've got this. I got this. I get a little stall. Maybe it felt like 20 minutes later after like sitting there touching myself in the freaking stall. And then we had to go to the pool. When I tell you that I couldn't walk, I don't know if the tampon went in horizontally. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I did, but when I tell you that I just, I did it wrong, I did it wrong, and I think at one point I just took out like the cotton thing from the plastic, threw the plastic, tried to let, it was a mess. So I'm walking to the pool and I'm walking very slowly, I'm like, you are good? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, what's up? I'm good. And I literally was, I was fine, I was like, okay, I'm walking, no problem, until it was time to sit down until it was time to sit down when I tell you that I couldn't sit down. Hold up, we're gonna play it out for you, ready? This was the chair, and I remember, it was like one of those beach chairs you kinda had to lay down, and all the girls were like, ha sitting down and all good. And I remember that I went like this, and I was like, no, 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 all right, there. Adrian, let's go in the pool. And I was like, go in the pool. I just sat down. The thing is just not where it's supposed to be. How are you guys moving around, doing jumping jacks, swimming? I was a mess, a mess. <laughs> so anyway, I just remember being in so much pain and I looked at around at all of these girls and all these girls were like, tampons. And I've been traumatized ever since. <laughs> no, it just honestly, it was just so bad. And I remember eventually just telling my mom and I was like, oh my God, I stole one of your tampons and my vagina's on fire. She's like, take it out. And I'm like, I don't even know how to. It was a mess. Did not go well for me. Couldn't sit down. I remember spending the whole day, the whole day because I was sucia and I didn't read. And I spent the whole day with that crooked ass tampon sitting up in my vagina like this. And it was a mess. Mess, mess. So young ladies, please do yourself a favor. Read the t information, ask your mom. Watch the videos on YouTube where they give you the instructions. I don't know what to do, what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, but please just don't do what I did and take it upon yourself without really trying to figure it out because I hadn't spoken to anybody about it and then my vagina had to pay for it. So let's go on to the next story. Shot number two. Okay. Oh yeah, baby. Let's fill it to the rim. Oh, okay. Now, if you guys have watched my other episodes of Three Shots and Three Stories, you will notice that this one just goes down a little bit smoother. It takes me a couple more seconds to react to it. So it looks like water, but don't be fooled. It's not. A burn. There's a burn. You know, I'm gonna be honest. When I was at, uh, when I was, I don't even know where I was. Hold on, hold on. I need to be drinking this with water. So that was delicious. Let me tell you, The Rock. I love you. I love you. Not just because of your tequila, because of your body, your smile, your heart, your everything. I just. Uh, I feel like by holding a bottle of Terra Mana, I feel like I'm holding a baby rock. <laughs> <laughs> I have too much fun by myself. Ugh, that's so sad, but so wonderful. <laughs> anyway. Alrighty, so story number two went a little like this. I need you to keep in mind two things. I was 16 and I was away from home because I normally spent my summers with my brother, my sister-in-law, my niece and my nephews, and I would just go to Washington State for a month or two and then come home for school, right? So my parents had no idea that we were even going to like a tattoo parlor or whatever to go get a piercing for my friend. So I was on vacation, whatever, and my friend's like, yeah, I'm gonna go get this pierced or whatever the hell she got pierced. And I was like, I'll go with you. And she was waiting in line to actually get the hole made in her ear and there was a group of like four or five freaking besties and they were like oh my god we're gonna get matching nose piercings 
and they were so happy about it and I was like oh my god you know being 16 you want to fit in and you're like yeah girl oh my god that's so cute and we started talking to them and then I don't know what happened in Andrea world but they started talking to me and they were trying to convince me to get the nose piercing and I was like no 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 no, no really my mom would murder me no 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 no. I can't be doing this no I don't want and I didn't want a nose piercing I did not want to get anything pierced on my body no girl come on come on it's cool we're all doing it you can do it peer pressure if you are young do not fall for it do not fall for it because I never saw these bitches again in my life I'm just saying it just saying it now just to make it clear so anyway all these girls were like oh my god come on look what we're gonna do is we're gonna each get our nose pierced and then once you see that we're okay then you can get it done I don't know what occurred to me and what was happening in my brain, but I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Let's sit here and watch these girls get their noses pierced. And then Andrea, I'll go get my nose pierced. So I paid a hundred dollars, over a hundred dollars to get like this little stone thing. And let me tell you, let me tell you. And I just sat there crapping my pants, watching them all get their nose pierced. And all these girls got their nose pierces like queens. They were like this, they would go in and they were like, and I was like, okay, I mean, it doesn't hurt that much. You're smiling, whatever. Smiling, whatever. And when the guy's like, okay, you're up next. And I was like shaking. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah. And the girls were all there. They all waited for me. Like this group of besties waited for me to get my nose pierced. Cause I was like, Andrea, you said you're doing it and you can't back out now. Like you gotta be a woman of your word. I sit down in the chair, right? And the guy's like, he had to put like this metal tube in my nose. And he's like, I'm gonna put the metal tube because obviously like, this is not like the guns that you put in your ear. No, no. This is like, you have to like manually force a piece of metal through your nose. Where he puts this tube in the nose, he said, like, you're gonna have to breathe. It's gonna be quick. Just don't move. And I'm like, okay. So he put like a marker thing and he's like, you like it there? And I'm like, yeah, sure. I don't have any other piercings besides my ears. So just, yeah, it works for me. And he's like, I'm gonna need you to breathe, okay? And I literally had a tube like up in my nose like this. And when I tell you that this man, with all the force that he had in his body, he was like, okay, ready? One, two, three. And he like, physically just push this this like long metal thing through my nose and when I tell you that my spine I to this day I felt my spine like shiver from the pain that my body felt all of these girls were full of shit they were full of shit because they were sitting there like <laughs> like a tickle and I sat there like what the and then mind you I couldn't move because the guy hadn't even put the earring in yet so I'm there with a big thing of like a metal like this in my nose and I'm like trying not to freak out and my, my sister-in-law and my, my I think my friend was like it's all good and my niece was like ah did she really do it and I was like oh god it was a fucking mess and then I thought the pain was over I thought the pain was over no it wasn't fucking over and the guy had to loop an earring and I, I believe I had the earring and it's like a loop around so he had to like take the stick out and then put the earring in and it was like a loop into my nose sticking out let me tell you when that man removed that that metal thing from my nose and twirled the earring into my nose Andrea almost had a heart attack Andrea almost had a heart attack I to this day I'm like young Andrea what were you doing what were you thinking because I don't know I don't know peer pressure peer pressure is what happened and literally I just had this man twirl this shit into me and I sat there and all the girls are like you did it oh my god besties I've never seen those bitches again in my life never and I was like haha great girls thanks I did it I did it I wanted to stab each and every one of them. I was like, screw you, screw you, fuck you, screw you, fuck you. I was just, I wanted to get out of there. I could not believe that I had walked out of that store with a hole in my nose. And you you think I'm, you think I'm kidding, hold on, ready? You're gonna see the pimple, sorry. But look, I don't know if you can see it. Do you see a little hole? There it is, <laughs> there it is. Talk about not scarring. Yeah, can't get rid of that shit. Can't get rid of that shit. So anyway, I went home, I saw my brother. My brother almost had a heart attack because my brother was like, oh, Andrea, I'm in charge of you. I'm an adult. Your mother's gonna murder me. And I was like, no, no, it's okay. Don't worry, my mom's gonna be great. And then I called my mom and I was like, mom, I got a piercing. And she's like, no, you didn't. And I was like, oh, I did. And then when I FaceTimed my mom and my mom was like, Andrea, you got a piercing? 
it was crazy. Anyway, I got home, so I had had the, the piercing for like two weeks, and then a week later I was home, whatever, my boyfriend had seen it, my mom had seen it, whatever, and then we were celebrating my boyfriend's birthday, and I got drunk at a party. I got drunk at a party, and I built up the courage to just rip it out of my nose. I was drunk, I was drunk, I was drunk. So anyway, I literally like yanked this thing out of my nose, and it was so painful. It was painful like when I got it in, but it just had never healed, it had never healed. So yeah, so yeah, that's the story. Story of Andrea piercing her nose, not wanting to have pierced it. Wonderful. Getting dark, it's getting dark, so we need to hurry up. Anyway, we're going into shot number three. We're gonna do this quickly because if not, you guys are not gonna see me. And you know, Andrea, I always record late, so that's how the way it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was a lot more than I wanted. So these, the third story is going to be about my Boston trip. I was gonna say salute, well, whatever, cheers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Terramana. Terramana. Tequila. Huh. Anyway, look guys, I didn't even leave a drop. Oh God. I'm a professional. God, The Rock, Dwayne. Dwayne, just give me a call, man. Anyway. Anyway, oh, that was delightful. That was delightful. And if you have watched my other episodes of three shots and three stories, you are going to know that that is true because most of the shots that I take, I'm like, oh my God, my body. But that was really, really good. It's just the rock, man. It's just the rock. I don't know if it's that like I swallow it and then I picture the rock. That sounded so inappropriate. That sounded so inappropriate, I'm so sorry. What I meant to say is that I picture the rock. No, that's still, <laughs> I do, I picture the rock. I'm like, <laughs> this fucking bird. Let's get into story number three. And that was the first time I went to Boston. Boston was such a wonderful trip. Honestly, guys, I would highly recommend going to the Samuel Adams Brewery. It's a free tour. You walk around, they show you how to make beer, and then you get a bunch of free beer, so freaking fantastic. Then they send you to Doyle's, which is like one of the oldest breweries, or not breweries, uh, bars in Boston. It's amazing. Um, Quincy Market, or I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, or even if that's the name. So I'm gonna look it up and if it's not, then I'll put it here. But if it's called Quincy Market, go to the market. It's full of different foods. And if it's cold, it's fantastic. And we ate so much food and it was great. And to top it all off, we stayed at Mandarin Oriental because my best friend was working for Mandarin at the time. And this is a five star hotel. And it was just absolutely gorgeous. They would like make the bed for you, close the curtains, warm up your robes. And we had spent the day like freezing and it was so snowing it was beautiful but we would come in and just want to be warm and the, like they had made hot water and it was just the best experience hands down one of the best experiences i've ever had in my life is the mandarin oriental highly recommend mandarin if you're seeing this please your girl loves your hotels please i live in miami florida but send me anywhere else and i will review it but yes we had stayed in the mandarin honestly the best, best hotel experience I've ever had in my life. Uh, the city was beautiful, so much history, free beer, beautiful things to see, just walking around. If you have not gone to Boston, I highly recommend. I got this super cute shot glass. We went to the Sequari Sequarium. Sequarium, Sequarium. Miami Sequarium, Sequarium. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh shit, I don't even know. Anyway, we went to the Sequarium. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Aquarium. Hold on. I just want to make sure. He's my grammar guy. Hello? Babe. Hey. Is the right way to pronounce Sequarium, Sequarium? I think so. Okay. Sequarium is where you see the animals, right? In the water? Aquarium. Okay, thank you. I love you. Oh my god, que pena, que pena. Oh my goodness, que pena. I meant aquarium. I was saying the sequarium because here in Miami it's called Miami Sequarium, but it's aquarium. So yeah, guys, it is getting dark. Andrea has to go to the bathroom. So that is three shots and three stories for this week. I have shared with you the very first time I tried to put on a tampon, which 
God, I hope that this was not a, a bad idea of uploading this. The second one was when I was peer pressured into getting a nose piercing and the third one was about my amazing time in Boston and I highly recommend going to Boston and going to the Samuel Adams Brewery. It's amazing, their beer is great and it's not sponsored, I just really like their beer. So Samuel Adams, check it out and Quincy Market and just walk around the city. There's so much to see. If you have not gone to Boston, put it on your bucket list because trust me, it is such a beautiful city and you'll just have so much fun and must must stay at the Mandarin Oriental. I highly recommend it. I would stay there if I could afford it any day of the year because it is absolutely wonderful and I thank you so so much for watching this episode. I'm gonna go inside because my face is like I feel like my eyeballs are like at this point so Terramana Tequila. I should mention that. If you guys are interested, Terramana Tequila, uh, The Rock, I love you so much. Like I said earlier, um, highly recommend this tequila. It is very, very smooth. I, I just, it's the only tequila as of now that I've tried, that I enjoy. It goes down smoothly and it just, it hits you in just the right way. And get yourself some Terramana. And that is it. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I would just appreciate any support that I can get. And next Friday, at whatever time that I end up posting this, is another episode of Three Shots and Three Stories. So until next week, I love you guys. Thank you so, so much. Dwayne, if you would like to wrestle, I'm so sorry, that's so disrespectful. You have a wife and your wife is beautiful and lovely and I'm sure she's a great person and so your children are beautiful. And now I sound like a stalker. Dwayne, I'm so sorry, thank you for your tequila. I will continue buying. She's Dwayne the Rock, man. What a beautiful human being. I really, I really love watching his videos. Love listening to him. I think this video is going to be about like my secret obsession with The Rock because like he's such a positive person and just down to earth and family and you know Ohana means family and uh, Mana. I remember watching The Rock. Hold on, we're gonna give you another story. I should really be like marketing or advertising like healthy things so that you know I can get like some free carrots but no. Free alcohol. Oh, but if you chase it, oh, you see? <gasps> it's like a new human being. Anyway, <laughs> that was shot number two. Guys, that was pleasant. Dwayne The Rock. Anyway, I appreciate looking at you. I appreciate you're just, you're just kind and you're so beautiful and I love you and I wanna meet you one day. <laughs> and you just, I aspire. Okay, let's not get into this video. It's not about Dwayne The Rock, but I can make a video about it if you need me to because I love me some rock. Anyway, anyway, bird, I hope you know, I don't see the bird wherever it is. I don't see it. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Oh, wasting battery. Imagine myself, I'm gonna have a talk show host, talk show host one day. I will have a talk, no, that's me. I'm gonna have a talk show one day and I am going to still have my post-it notes because this is the foundation of Andrea. In life, one needs post-it notes. Bird. Guys, birds are just so pretty and they glide. I thought he was gonna attack them, but he didn't. <laughs> Guys, honestly, I know that this, like some of you are gonna be like, mm, sweet child, you should not be drinking so much alcohol. And I understand, but it's just, it just feels right right now. You know what I'm saying? So leave me be. God, that was so aggressive. That's what happens when my brain is just talking faster than my mouth. <gasps> I feel like a dog when they scratch your belly. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, I'm good. And the girls are like, yes, Asti, you're doing great. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Petrified. In the canal outside of my house. And I have seen alligators before and I just see bubbles right now. So if you see me just run off a camera, goodbye. Because bitches ain't this, I, I'm not ready to die.